Hey everyone, this is Prince from Desi Programmer. I welcome to yet another video about Flutter. And I know that you guys are actually waiting to write some code, make some customizations, and create an app. And trust me, we are gonna go to that point very soon, but not in this video. In this video, I'm going to discuss yet another important aspect of Android app development, which is executing our code on a real device that is running our app on a real device and this actually is necessary in certain cases case number one is when your system is not capable of running an emulator you run your code on a real device that's any android device which you have and case number two is that when you see you you when you want to publish an app at that time you have to test that single app on multiple devices real devices to see how they actually work and at that time too you may have to deploy your app on a real device but in this video i'm not just going to tell you how to write i mean not write how to execute your app on a real device but i'm actually going to show you how you can mirror your app mobile's screen or your system so that you don't have to actually look at your phone's screen every time now how we're going to do that well that's pretty easy first of all you need to get that software which will help you in mirroring your phone and we call that VYSOR visor and it's actually available as an extension to the chrome so you can just click on this i mean for you it won't be a launch app it might be install or get extension kind of thing click on that and it will download itself it's just of 8 megabytes so you don't have to worry and after downloading and installing it you can just close the chrome the way i did now you actually need an app and I think you guys remember that in the last video we did create an app using flutter and this app doesn't contain our code this is the default code that we get from flutter when we create an app so we are not going to worry about this code right now all that we have to worry is about getting this code running on a real device now I am using a real device in this video which is this phone Lenovo A6020 A40 I don't actually use this code, use this phone for executing my code, but it's okay. In this video, I'm going to show you how you how you can actually do this. Now, you guys might not be getting this screen as of now. When you will launch your Visor app, it will say that phones are not connected or anything as such. Well, you have to just connect your phone to the USB, but before connecting your phone to the USB or before launching the Visor app, you have to do the things that I'm saying. You have to open up settings in your phone now remember i'm telling you again you have to do this before doing this since i have done the process already my phone is mirrored but if you think that you can do this process on the go after mirroring the phone then it won't work you have to do this on your phone without connecting to usb or without trying to even mirror it now in your settings you will see this developer options if you don't see just go on about phone and click on i guess we have to click on this build number click on build number multiple times and it will tell you that you are now a developer and after clicking on build number multiple times okay let me see where is actually my build number yeah so here i have build number click on this multiple times it says i mean i am already a developer since you're not if you click for five times i guess you will be a developer that is you will see this developer options now in this developer options you can just click on this on i mean i use very few options the one that i use is stay awake so that when i'm using this phone for deep for usb debugging it stays awake and you should check this one on usb debugging check this one on and that's it you're good to go then you can just connect your phone to a usb where that is a data sync cable and you can launch your visor app now let me just close this one and let me show you what happens when i launch a visor app and don't worry to launch this you don't need to open your chrome every time you can simply search for visor and here this here is how this comes you can see that i have this one phone and you can just click on this if you don't see choose a device just click on find device and it will show you an option if i just can i just get rid of this okay it's okay so you can just click on device to find device and it will say android for android click on that and your phone with prompt information saying that you need to enable usb debugging click on okay and that's it you will viewer you can we will be able to see your phone mirrored on the device as it is now let me tell you a few things about visor right here the first one is that it has ads that is it's free but the way there are many premium features which comes as a visor pro and you can use that if you want but since i don't actually use my phone much for debugging i'm not using visor pro 
this phone i will just use for just a few videos where i can actually show you what it's like to code and execute the app on a real device so just click on view and here you can see your phone screen and if you see that you are good to go if you have any problem you can just ask me down now i will close this it won't affect it now let me just open my command prompt and here i have to go to my desktop where i have my flutter project flutter tutorials and here i have one directory hello where i contain my app and i will actually say flutter run and this will actually run the code on the only device that's connected which is this real device as of now so let's just let's just let's just give it enough time to finish its work and when the app launches i'll show you how it looks on the real device so cool as you can see the app has been created installed and launched on my real device the same app that we saw on my emulator this is the same way as it is you can just click on this plus buttons and you can see that this works and another plus point about visor is that you can control your phone with mouse and keyboard which again comes with an helping hand if you are actually giving some inputs or doing anything is that but well that's pretty much it in this video where we actually saw how we can run a app on a real device and this visor is actually not needed it's not compulsory if you want to run your app on a real device this is just to make sure that you can see your phone's screen on the desktop as you can see right here i don't have to look at my phone i don't have to peek on my phone every time just to see how the app is working and if you just want to create our app and launch on your device without using visor well the process is again same you have to just enable debugging become a developer and then you can just not install the visor and you're good to go the process will be same you don't have to do anything else the visor installation is just for your computer it has nothing to do much with the android so well that's it in this video in the next video we are actually going to erase this entire code that we got and we are going to understand how each and every line works in flutter so I hope you guys are pretty thrilled to make to learn Flutter and to write code in it and so am I. So I'll catch you up soon in the next video and make sure that you love to stay here.